Another so-called solution that some people have tried is the idea that adding an extension to the kingpin box of the trailer will give you added clearance, which as you can see, it does. You do gain space while towing in a straight line down the road, but when you start turning, you can see the width of the trailer hasn't changed at all. The center of the trailer is still over the axle, and half the width of the trailer is ahead of the axle. If you're trying to make a 90 degree turn, it's still going to hit the back of the cab. Not really a solution to the short bed problem at all. The distance from the back of the truck cab to the axle on short bed trucks is only 38 to 42 inches, depending on the make and model of truck. And the width of the trailer is fixed, usually 96 on a standard trailer, or could be up to 102 inches on a wide body trailer. You can see the problem. Unless you move the kingpin or the hitchback, you haven't solved the problem when making short turns that we all know are going to be necessary from time to time. There are even some stories of people wanting to have their hitches installed in the back of their truck bed, behind the truck axle, which causes two negatives. One, if you move the weight of the trailer behind the truck axle, you are in effect unloading the front axle and overloading the back axle, meaning the truck won't be sitting level and creating a weight distribution problem. But more importantly, when you move the hitch back in the bed, behind the truck axle, you are also moving the towing pivot point, which creates a condition known as trailer sway. Travel trailers towed behind the truck axle on a ball have trailer sway and are not as safe towing or as stable in crosswinds as fifth wheel trailers. In fact, one of the reasons people choose fifth wheel trailers is because they are so much more stable, safe, and are easier to handle than travel trailers. It would be unlikely that any installer or knowledgeable RVer would accept the idea of mounting a hitch behind the truck axle. It's simply not a good idea. The negative consequences in safety and handling would eliminate it as an option anyone would consider. There are now a couple of products appearing in the market that are essentially doing just that, actually moving the towing pivot point back from the truck axle, which means that you lose the sway-free towing characteristics of a fifth wheel trailer. You'd have a trailer that tows more like a bumper pull travel trailer, but without having the option of using sway control or weight distribution. When the trailer's pivot point is behind the truck axle, you can see what happens. The effects of sway, wind from trucks passing, and other unexpected forces gives the trailer leverage to affect the handling of the truck. In engineering terms, it's called oversteer, or torque. Not what you want when you're trying to tow safely and enjoy your travels. The disadvantages of this option, once truly considered, are significant. No one would consider simply installing a fifth wheel hitch behind the axle of the truck it simply wouldn't have the safe towing characteristics of a fifth wheel trailer. Another drawback to this option is that it places significant additional stress and leverage on the kingpin box and trailer frame, which may not have been designed to be altered this way. Again, not really a solution for short bed owners. The only real proven solution for safe towing with short beds is the Super Glide Hitch from Pullright. It keeps the pivot point at the axle of the truck, providing the safe towing advantages of fifth wheel trailers. And then, when making short turns, it automatically moves back as far and as fast as you turn, regardless of whether you're towing forward or in reverse. Super Glide really is the only true solution. It eliminates the problems of towing fifth wheel trailers with short bed trucks. It's the solution RVers are looking for.